Fellow photographers, if you want to be a successful commercial photographer, not wedding photographer, not family portrait photographer, commercial photographer, this is what you need to do. And brace yourself for some broad sweeping oversimplification. But if you want to know more, there's workshops around which can give you all of that. But this is just like, let me give you the brass facts of what it is you need to do. In order to be a successful commercial photographer, you need a couple of things going your way. One is, and this is the most important, you need an original, creative and relevant body of work. Now this is the most important part of it. Original, creative, and it has to have some sort of relevance to the zeitgeist, to the to the world we're in. It can't just be absolutely off the wall bonkers work. There has to be something where you're pulling in from popular culture. That is the most important thing you must have. Now the second most important thing you must have is a point of view. And this should be channeled through your work, through that original creativity. You need to have that point of view where you're like, this is how I see the world. Let me bring you into it. Let me show you. And I think a great example of this is street photography. Street photography is a literal example of a point of view. You're walking down the street, everything is happening, and people are capturing just what it is that is their point of view. Now, in my particular line of work, we curate and we create. So rather than pulling it out, we put it together. So it's kind of the reverse of street photography, which I think is why I find street photography so fascinating as an art form. But that is also very, very important. Now, in order to make all of this work, the work you create must resonate with you. And the point I'm going to make now harps back to several conversations I've had in the last few weeks. You need to be creating this body of work that is within your style. Now, people seem to be getting confused with what their style is. Somebody, like, they're going, oh, I'm a photographer who photographs products. That is not your style. That is not your genre. That is just a thing you do. Like, you photograph teacups. Like, great. How do you photograph your teacups? What is it about when you photograph this teacup that's different to everyone else? That is what matters. Now, the only way to get yourself to a point of doing that and to having an opinion on stuff is to shoot something that truly resonates with you. It must be something which is so deeply ingrained in you that you live for it. And, and it really is the difference because let me give you this very badly hashed together stat that I worked out. In the UK, there are 74,000 professional photographers who turn in a tax return. Beneath that, hobbyist-wise, who want to become pro, millions. 74,000 make money. From that 74,000, 120 of them make the big money. Now, that number is extrapolated from everyone who signed for an agent plus 20 people who are perhaps self-representing or have in-house people like Rankin doesn't have an agent, but he has his own team within. So 120, that is 0.1% of all working photographers, make good money, have an agent, shoot big campaigns. The only way to get to that part is to shoot something that truly resonates with you. So instead of being a product photographer, you need to be a product photographer with a point of view and to be able to shoot this in a way that only you can shoot it. And that's what makes you the photographer that you are. It's not that you photograph models, it's not that you photograph fashion, and let's take fashion for an example. I'm a fashion photographer. What kind of fashion photographer? You need to be able to describe your work. So for example, I'm a still life photographer. I shoot bold and graphic still life images. Go and look on my website. It will look bold and graphic. That is what you need to be able to pull your work down to. That is what you need to be able to go. This is me. This is the essence of what I produce. And that is how you become a successful photographer. Now, this is obviously grossly oversimplified. There are a lot of steps within this that you need to do. If you do want to know more, I'll pop a link below to my how to build a commercially viable portfolio because that is probably the best workshop to get you from where you are now to where you want to be. I hope you're enjoying this work. If you want to learn more about being a commercial photographer, do hit subscribe. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.